Scooter, welcome to my place. If you've never heard of Kiwi Company, they put out these really cool crates and you can subscribe to them um, and they'll send you one per month. So there are different crates. There are Tadpole, Koala, Kiwi, Atlas, Doodle, and Tinker. And the crate I'm subscribed to is Tinker. It's all about building and engineering. So this is the one I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing geometric laser projector. Ooh, look at all these goodies. <laughs> okay, so here is the instruction book. Material list, laser pointer, potentiometers, resistors, battery packs, motors. The, poten the potentiometers will vary the resistance in your circuits and change the speed of your motors. Resistors. The resistors will make sure the right amount of current gets to your motors. Okay. Here are all the other little pieces that we need. And here is the circuit diagram. We're going to be making three of these. Here is the switch, the motor, resistor, potentiometer, and the battery. So let's get started. So I messed up and I put the motors in the wrong place. Um, apparently the size of the wires matters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it and keep going. And now we just got to make sure that the motors are connected to the right battery. Okay, so. There's that one. And there's that one. There we go. Okay, so that got I got those connected. Now I just need to build a control panel. Okay. Part B. Okay, so I'll need... Hmm. Control panel. Knob. So now we got all this. So step one, unscrew the hex nut from the potentiometer. Okay. Okay. Okay, so step two. So the reason why we're using these resistors is because we need a path for the electricity to go through, but we don't want to use normal wires because we want we still want to block some electricity so we can allow the right amount of electricity to go through. So that's why we're using the resistors. So now we just need to screw on this. Um, we just want to screw 
screw this nut down right on top so it can stay stable. need our knob. There, so we've got these two knobs that are going to control the motors and make them turn. Now since we're done wiring everything up, now we're just going to test and see if it actually works. Okay, so I think, I think these are supposed to be on. Okay. Whoa. What? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So now since we're done with that, okay, we just need to stick these wires down. Now all we need to do is get our laser and put the laser on. Whoa, pretty good laser, okay. Um, we just need to screw it on with this and these screws. So, okay, move. Clear protective sheet from all your mirrors. You got it. Ooh, okay. Not coming off. Oh. Wait. Okay, there. Um, nice and tight and snug. Okay, so now it just says. Okay. It says to use this. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. It says to put this little sticky foam on. Sticky pad foam stuff. Okay, so now. Okay, just secure it in. And that's pretty much all. Um, okay, now it's actually shining through. Okay, so. Until that thing presses. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna read real quick about how a laser works. So you can't build a laser projector without a laser. Without a concentrated narrow beam, you wouldn't be able to create the crisp patterns you see. But what makes a laser different from normal light? Light from a white light bulb is actually made of many different colors, all mixed together. You can see this by shining white light through a prism to make a rainbow. This light also is scattering in a bunch of different directions. Light from a laser, on the other hand, is only one color. Not only that, but it is also completely synchronized in one direction. This means that light stays concentrated and is visible from much farther away. Screw this a bit tighter, so... Okay, so now it's working. We're gonna turn off the light and see how this thing works. Gotta flip these switches on. Okay. Ooh! What? <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Try the third one. How about we turn the middle one off? We can try that one. Woohoo! Oh, that's so cool! Can it make it go really slow? Turn that one all the way up. So let's talk about how this machine makes all these awesome patterns. So the geometric patterns your laser projector draws depends on a couple of science tricks. The first is in the construction of the projector, while the second is all in your head. The mirror mounts are angled very slightly this angle is what changes the position of the laser pointer dot. As each mirror spins, it reflects the laser off in a different direction and moves the dot to different positions on the wall. As you make more of your motors spin, the laser changes directions more frequently and chaotically, giving you more complex shapes. Changing the motor's speeds relative to one another also changes how the laser is reflected and makes different patterns. The second trick doesn't actually have to do with your projector. Rather, the secret lies in your brain. When you watch your laser pointer, it looks as if you're drawing a series of lines on the wall. In reality, you're looking at a single dot moving very, very quickly. The illusion that you are seeing the lines is a trick of your brain called persistence of vision. Well, I really enjoyed this Tinker Crate. It was really fun. I think this is my favorite project I've ever done. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!